Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering. This is the lecture number first of the series Cable Sizing. In this series of lectures, we will learn how to calculate the size of a cable using manual calculation, then using Excel sheet, and then using the latest software called the ETAB. The content of this course are cable construction. In the cable construction, we will see the construction of the cable. This section will not uh, cover the detailed construction of the cable. Only the brief idea about the construction of the cable will be given. Then second part is the why cable size is important. Why it is important to calculate this cable size. Then third part is the what is the proper cable size? Which cable size will be called that this cable size is a proper cable size? And the fourth is the calculating of the cable size using manual cal calculation. In this section, we will calculate the cable size using manual method. Then we will use the Excel sheet to calculate the cable size. And then we use the ATAP, which is the latest software in the electrical engineering. To calculate the size of the cable you will see that all the in the cable size in all the three methods is same before moving further in this chorus a course is coming in on the same youtube channel called the design design course of transmission lines and distribution lines in this course, you will uh, cover the design aspects of transmission lines from LT to 800 kV transmission line. This course is all absolutely free. You have to pay nothing about this course. The content, some of the contents are of this course are LOA, that is the letter of uh, authority, BOQ, bill of quantity and estimation survey. Then permission is needed for the transmission and distribution lines. Then load, connected load, maximum demand, demand factor, and diversity factor, clearance of transmission and distribution lines, calculating number of disk insulators needed, SAG calculation of the transmission lines, and many other topics are all covered in this chorus. You have to pay nothing about this uh, for this chorus, only you have to subscribe my channel and we and we upload the uh, content about this chorus and you can study these courses without any without paying anything absolutely free now coming to this lecture what is electrical cable electrical cable is a structure composed of one or more conductors enclosed by insulation and some other protective layers that means the cable consists of one or more conductors which are enclosed by insulation and some other protective layers it is designed to transmit electric power from one place to the another place. The conductors are generally made up of copper or aluminium. The insulation are generally used are PVC, that is polyvinyl chloride, XLP, cross necked polythene, and EPR, that is ethylene propylene rubber. Cable construction. Now we will study the cable construction. This is the cable, cross section of the cable. This is the cross section of the uh, cable. First, the conductor is coming after that there is the insulation then there is a lead sheet and then there is a bedding and then there is a armoring and the last protective cover is the outer jacket first of all we will see the conductor the conductor are generally made up of copper or aluminium electrical standard codes for the conductor is is 8130 iec 602 228 BS6360. Then insulation. It prevents conductor to touch each other. It prevents the current from conductor reaching to the other nearby conductors, resulting in the short circuit. That means the cable prevents the short circuit. Electrical standard codes are IS7098, 8130, 14494, IEC60502. BS6622, BS7835. The insulations are generally PVC, that is polyvinyl chloride, XLP, that is 
क्रॉस लिंक्ड पॉलिथीन एंड ई पी आर दैट इज इथेलिन आफ्टर द इंसुलेशन द अदर प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर इज द शीत इट इज यूज प्रोटेक्टिंग द इट इज यूज फॉर प्रोटेक्टिंग द केबल फ्रॉम मॉइस्चर विच वुड एफेक्ट द इंसुलेशन केबल शीत इज मेड ऑफ ऑफ लेड एलॉय इलेक्ट्रिकल कोडस आर बी एस सिक्स सेवन टू फोर आई सी सिक्स वन जीरो थ्री फोर आई सी सिक्स जीरो सेवन फाइव फोर आई सी सिक्स जीरो थ्री थ्री टू द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द शीत इज टू प्रोवाइड द प्रोटेक्शन टू द इंसुलेशन अगेंस्ट द मॉइस्चर देन दियर इज अनदर प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर दैट इज बिडिंग इट प्रोवाइड इज प्रोटेक्शन टू द मेटेलिक शीत फ्रॉम क्रूजन एंड सम अदर मैकेनिकल इंजुरीज इट इज मेड ऑफ सम फाइबरस मटीरियल सच एज जूट और हिसन टैप इलेक्ट्रिकल स्टैंडर्ड कोडस आर आई एस सेवन जीरो नाइन एट वन फाइव फाइव फोर आई सी सिक्स जीरो फाइव जीरो टू बी एस सिक्स सिक्स टू टू बी एस सेवन एट थ्री फाइव बी एस सेवन एट थ्री फाइव देन द प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर इज आफ्टर द बिडिंग इज आर्मोरिंग आर्मोरिंग इज यूज टू प्रोटेक्ट द केबल फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजुरीज वाइल हैंडलिंग इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ वन और टू लेयर्स ऑफ कैलमनाइज स्टील वायर और स्टील टेप आर्मोरिंग इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर अर्थिंग द केबल दैट वी कैन यूज द आर्मोरिंग एज अ अर्थ इलेक्ट्रिकल स्टैंडर्ड कोडस आर आई एस सेवन जीरो नाइन एट आई एस थ्री नाइन सेवन फाइव आई सी सिक्स जीरो फाइव जीरो टू बी एस सिक्स सिक्स टू टू बी एस सेवन एट थ्री फाइव द लास्ट प्रोटेक्ट लेयर ऑफ द केबल इज आउटर जैकेट इट इज दउटर प्रोटेक्शन पार्ट ऑफ द केबल अगेंस्ट द सराउंडिंग एनवायरमेंट प्रोवाइड इज प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट द वाटर इंग्रेशन प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट द टर्माइटिस प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट यू वी एंड प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट द डिफरिंग सॉइल कंपोजिशन इट इज जनरली मेड ऑफ ऑफ पी वी सी दैट इज पॉलिविनाइल क्लोराइड इलेक्ट्रिकल स्टैंडर्ड कोडस आर सेवन जीरो नाइन एट आई सी सिक्स जीरो फाइव जीरो टू बी एस सिक्स सिक्स टू टू बी एस सेवन एट थ्री फाइव Now the question arises: Why cable size is important? Why it is important to calculate the cable size? Proper cable size is important for the safety, reliability, and the consistency of an electrical system. It ensures that the system operates. efficiently minimize voltage drop and prevent is the overheating it also reduces the risk of fire hazards and electrical accidents suppose we can we have a load suppose we have a load whose current rating is 10 amperes and we are using a cable whose current rating is suppose 6 amperes load is drawing the 10 amperes current and the cable which has the current rating of 10 amperes 6 amperes we are supplying the load with this cable what will happen that the cable gets that means with the due to the overloading the cable gets heated and there is a chance that the cable will catch the fire and the fire incident will happen and electrical A incident will happen. An electrical accident will happen. Another thing, so the uh, the resistance of the cable is very large. If the resistance of the cable is very large, then then there is a well, uh, large voltage drop, and our load will not get the proper voltage. And you know when the our when the load will not get the proper voltage, he is not functioning properly. His efficiency we will decrease. To avoid these things to avoid the risk of fire to avoid the uh, to increase the efficiency our cable size the cable size should be proper now the question ar arises what is the proper cable size to which cable we will say this cable size is proper a cable should satisfy three conditions first condition is that able to carry the full load current of the load able to withstand the short circuit current should have a minimum voltage drop if a cable is satisfying all the three conditions then we will say that the cable size is the proper cable size in the next lecture we will see that 
we will calculate the cable size using manual calculation thank you